Good morning on this last Sunday of in the month of August. We, we thank God for, uh, for everything that God is doing in each of our lives and uh, continue, please continue to remain safe in everything that you're doing. Please remain safe. Take care of your health. Take care of your family. Nurture all, all relationships. It's, uh, it's good to, uh, to be alive. And we're, we're praying for all families around the world who are wrestling with grief and bereavement and loss, and we uplift you right now in prayer. We're thinking about you. And I thank each of you for your presence week after week and your prayers, your support, and your words of encouragement. So thank you for the text, the messages, the emails, all the forms of communication, uh, all the different ways that you express encouragement. We greatly appreciate it. God, we thank you for the gift of encouragement as you encourage us, we encourage others. A word of encouragement does wonders. Amen. Matthew chapter 14, verse 22. Matthew chapter, chapter 14, verse 22. Matthew chapter 14, verse 22. Immediately. Jesus and his disciples got into the boat to go over to the other side. Repeat. Immediately, Jesus put the disciples in the boat and sent them over to the other side while he dismissed, while he dismissed the crowd. One more time. Immediately, Jesus put the disciples in the boat and sent them over to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. You are made for the situation. You are made for the situation. In this text of Matthew chapter 14, verse 22, after Jesus feeds the 5,000, he put the disciples in the boat and sends them over to the other side by themselves. While they're sailing in the boat, he dismisses the crowd and he goes to the mountain and prays and watches them as they sail in the boat. This is the second storm in in Matthew's gospel, in the first storm, in chapter 8, Jesus is in the boat with them. And he sails with them through the storm. And in that first storm, as he's in the boat with him, the disciples discover that Jesus is a miracle worker and has power over nature. And so when you get to chapter 14, it's the second stone. And Jesus puts them in the boat by themselves. He's not in the boat with them. They're in the boat by themselves. And I start thinking about that text. It was interesting to me. And what grabbed me was, why did Jesus put them in the boat by themselves? It's the second stone. There were some lessons that they learned from the first storm. Now it's the second storm. It's the second boat narrative. Now they're in the boat by themselves. Jesus was trying to tell these, these disciples that you are prepared for your situation. You are ready for this next miracle. Everything that you've gone through in the past has got you prepared for this next moment. 
This is the second time that we're in the boat. This time I'm going to put you in the boat by yourself because the lessons that you learn from the first boat narrative, the lessons that you learn from the first storm has gotten you ready for this storm. Everything that you have gone through in the past has gotten you ready for right now. Whatever we're facing right now, miracles, breakthroughs, opportunities, everything that we've gone through in the past has gotten us ready for right now. You're prepared. You're ready to handle everything that you're facing right now. So with everything that we have in us, approach the opportunity, approach the moment with confidence, all your preparation, all your study, all your practices, all your workouts, all your research, all your jobs, all your past experiences have gotten you ready for right now. Everything that you've gone through in the past have gotten you ready for right now. You're ready for this moment. You're ready for this opportunity. You're ready for this next step in your life. We are ready for the opportunity because everything we have gone through in the past has gotten us ready for right now. He puts his disciples in the boat by themselves to let them know, don't forget the lessons from the first storm. Everything that you've learned from the first storm, apply that to the second storm. He puts them in the boat by themselves to let them know, I believe in you. I believe in the lesson that you have learned. And everything you've learned in the past has gotten you ready for right now. This is your moment. This is your time. This is your opportunity. This is your situation to use for breakthrough and to, to use for miracles and overcoming moments. Everything that you've gone through yesterday, last year, everything you went through five years ago, everything that we've gone through in the past has us ready for right now. He puts them in the boat by themselves to let them know you're ready for the situation. I, I just finished watching a, a powerful story called The Fade about Eric Kimry. It's called The Fade. Eric Kimry was a former quarterback for South Carolina. He played for Lou Holtzson and Lou Holtz in the year 2000. They were playing Mississippi State. Fourth quarter, they were down 1913. Time going out, time elapsing. And the starting quarterback got hurt. Couldn't finish the game. And so Lou Holtzson turned to the team and said, mm, what are we going to do? Eric Kimber stepped up and said, Coach, I can throw the fade. So, Eric Kimber, a walk on quarterback, third string, Lou Holtz puts him in, time running out. Eric Kimber snaps the ball, gets the ball, throws a fade, winning touchdown. After the game, Eric Kimber said, Y'all know what? I was made for this situation. If there's one thing that they taught us in South Carolina was to throw the fade. My daddy was a football coach. I was a star foot, I was a star quarterback in high school. If there's one thing I know how to do, I can throw that fade. Everything that I've gone through in the past has gotten me ready for this moment. All I'm trying to say that you are ready for your situation. Everything that we've gone through in the past has gotten us ready for right now. Throw that fade. Do what you know to do. Walk in your gift 
and walk in your favor in everything that you're facing. You walk in confidence. You have confidence in your past. Have confidence in your preparation. Have confidence in your training. Have confidence in your workout. Have confidence in your gift. Have confidence in God and have confidence in yourself. Don't let anybody or anything or any situation beat down your confidence. I just want you to know we are made for the situation and we are ready and prepared to succeed, work miracles, let God have his way. The situation is not too big. The moment is not too great. We are ready for the situation. Oh, I feel like shouting right now. Whatever we're facing, we're made to conquer it. We're made to overcome it. And we're made to walk in the confidence that God has placed in our lives. We're ready for the situation. Can I get a witness? Somebody say, yeah. God bless you. Peace. I'll be back next Sunday. Hallelujah. We're ready. We're made for the situation, Doc. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm.